morning and welcome to The Dog Show, your source for the latest Empire news and sports. I'm your host, Mace Monty. And I'm Ava Boozer. As you can see, the Christmas decorations are down and the set is back to normal. Mace, it's the last semester of your high school career. Are you ready for it? Coach K didn't tell you? Uh, I guess not. What's up? I'm going to continue The Dog Show while I'm at college. He said we'll figure out the logistics later. Oh, uh, well, uh, I already put out an ad for your replacement, so... Sorry, sis. No one's replacing me. You're stuck with old Mace for at least another year. I'm just kidding. No, I'm looking forward to ending my run on the dog show and seeing what the future holds. Well, we've got a little bit of time before then, so hopefully we get some good applications before the next year starts. Now let's get to the news. The FFA started their blue and gold sausage sales this week. Find an FFA member if you're interested in buying, but don't wait until too long. Sales end on January 27th. Last semester, Empire started a good behavior incentive. Every month, students' names were announced that had no office referrals or behavioral issues. The winners for this past semester was announced on Monday, and it was Ashton Anderson in the high school and Marley McRae in the middle school. We talked to Mrs. Kaus about the program and what students can look forward to this next semester. Thanks, guys. I'm here today with Principal Ms. Kaus. Ms. Kaus, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so tell everybody about what the Good Behavior Program is. Yeah, so this year we implemented a new Good Behavior Program over in the middle school and the high school. And so basically what that means is every month, if a student has not had any behavior referrals, which means they never got sent to the office by any of their teachers or any staff members, then their name goes into a pot. We do like a pot for each grade, and then we draw a name each month. Um, and so it basically, it rewards students by, you know, encouraging them to not, you know, be, do bad things or make bad decisions, and then it rewards them when they, when, or possibly rewards them when they do have good behavior each month. That's pretty cool. And what was the prize this past semester, and what can students look for this semester? Um, so I guess I should have mentioned in the last question, what we do, we have a drawing each month for each grade, and when their name is drawn out, they get $10 of free money to spend at the office. You know, we have little snacks and stuff that we sell. But then the, all those names get put in a giant pot each at the end of each month. And at the end of the semester, we drew one middle school name and we drew one high school name. And those students received AirPods. Okay, okay. And final question. If I slip you this crisp $1 bill right now, can I get my name put in that hat for this semester? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. But I've seen your name in there a couple of times, so I bet you'll win something some one month. <laughs> Can't blame me for trying. Thanks, Miss Kaus, for joining us today. And now back to you in the Dog Show Studios. We also talked with our high school counselor, Miss McDonald, about what students seem to be preparing for this last semester. Thanks, guys. I'm here today with our high school counselor, Mrs. McDonald, to talk about what's going on this last semester. Mrs. McDonald, thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. First off, what should the seniors be doing to get ready for the end of the school and what comes after? Okay, I mean, there's a lot of exciting things going on right now. The ones that are wanting to go to college really need to start uh, applying, make sure they apply to everywhere they want to go, uh, apply to local places as, a, as, as well as the big colleges, and then compare. Don't just compare the programs, compare the prices, because that's very important. College gets very expensive. So uh, also, if you're just a little bit off on your ACT, you're getting a scholarship at your local college, that's where you'll get the most scholarships, go ahead and take it again. The next ACT test will be February 11th. It's probably time to enroll for that right yeah. now, and they can take that. So. Yeah, next question. For underclassmen, for students wanting to take the ACT or go to Votech next school year, or even students interested in being a concurrent student, what steps do they need to take? Okay, for the Technology Center at Red River, they have some great programs, and we have those applications now. I'll be passing out those. will be for, I'll be giving all the sophomores. That'll be next year juniors. And they have all of the wonderful programs out there to take college programs as well as things that will prepare you for work as when you graduate. Um, also, for even the juniors this year, even if they haven't gone to Votech, they can still go. So we'll be talking to them to see if they want to enroll. Um, what was the other question? Oh, um, concurrent. Yeah, okay. concurrent students. Yeah. Concurrent kids. Okay. All juniors will be taking, we'll be talking about testing, but all juniors will take the ACT test in April as part of their state testing here. Mm -hmm. So you'll have that chance to take the ACT. Uh, for con They'll go towards your concurrent. You can also, like I said, we have some dates coming up. Take them on a Saturday, the ACT. And I know like Western Technology Center, they will also look at your GPA and your pre-ACT score. So we have separate, mm -hmm. several different ways to enroll you concurrently. All right. 
And as far as state testing goes, I know we have a little bit of time before then, but when will that start? Okay, yes, April is busy for our 6th through 8th grade. Um, April 20th to May 17th will be the dates. So we'll probably start right on April uh, 20th, start testing them starting 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. Uh, our high school, the only grade that tests in the high school is our juniors, and the junior testing will be April 3rd through the 27th. So okay. we have several dates. We'll get the exact dates to them probably by the um, sometime in February. All right. Sounds good. Uh, Ms. McDonald, thank you for joining us. Back to you in Doc Show Studios. Thanks for having me. A few reminders. If you're in high school and interested in esports, get in touch with Coach Armsworthy. There's still time. And finally, Bull Extra Christ meets every Thursday in Ms. Sullivan's room. Now over to the elementary for the Bulldog broadcast. Prize Pups will be back next week. We wanted to give you guys some time to get back in the swing of things and start racking up those awards. We talked with the elementary principal, Mr. Skiles, about what we can look forward to in the elementary this semester. Thanks again, guys. I'm here with elementary principal, Mr. Skiles, to talk about all the activities going on the elementary this semester. Mr. Skiles, thank you for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me on, Luke. Anytime. We won't ask to look too far down the line, but what are some of the bigger field trips going on in the elementary this semester? Well, we uh, we don't have any field trips on schedule just yet. We try to get state testing over with. That's going to happen towards the end of April and the uh, first part of May. So we try to wait for all of our big field trips and kind of use that as a celebration to end the year. So those are, are going to be quite a ways down on the calendar. Uh, we use January and February to kind of get back on track and get ready for state testing. So pretty yeah. quiet around here right now. Yeah. Uh, the fifth grade science fair, the living museum, and the land run are some of the bigger events in the elementary. When are those so I can put them on my calendar? Now, fifth grade science fair is going to be our first thing up. It's going to be on February 23rd for our Empire District Fair. We do that so we can get ready for the Stevens County Science Fair. Uh, we always like to send several students there and uh, in the past, we've been represented well there. So that uh, is going to happen February 23rd. Of course, that follows along with all of our science standards and, again, helps us get ready for, for our state testing. Uh, land run, we will do kind of towards the end of April to go along with the state uh, ceremonies there. Yeah. And then Living Museum is going to be kind of after testing as well. So kind of another celebration, fun activity for the kids to do. Yep. And finally, the million word wall, something all grades get into in the elementary. Everybody wants the ring. Give me a guess on how many students you think will reach the milestone this year. That's a good question. Um, we've, uh, we've had several, as you can see from the wall out there. Um, you know, even some of the high schoolers have their names on the wall currently. Um, and they like to come by through the hall and, and check that out and see their past artwork. Um, as far as how many we'll get on, we've already had a couple on this year, which is encouraging since they got on first semester. Uh, for the second semester, I, I anticipate having about an additional 20 kids that will, will meet that goal of getting on the half million word wall. And hopefully in, in years to come, they'll be able to come through the hallway and see their brick whenever they, they grow up and, and become high schoolers. So. Yep. And hey, I think I should qualify for the million word wall because I've already read so many words this year. You think I got what it takes? Yeah, maybe. Are you a very good artist? You got to design I don't know your about own that brick, one. Yep. And, and we don't help. We just want it, uh, full creativity to you. Okay. Well, thanks, Mr. Skiles. Lots of fun stuff going on in this elementary. Now back to you in the Dog Show Studios. Before we take a look at Bulldog Sports, here's a look at your forecast. Football? No, it's not football season, but we do have some Empire football news. Over the Christmas break, the Duncan Manor released their All-Area Team. Congratulations to the following Bulldogs that were selected to the All-Area Team. Making the first team is Nicholas Spigner, Roderick Spigner, and Shelby Shelton. Making the second team is Damian Goldsberry, Luke Burton, and Mace Monteith. And making honorable mention is Easton Beck. The Empire Wrestling Team start off the new year with duels at Sulphur this past Monday. And tomorrow, the junior high competes in Red River duels at Altus. The Empire High School basketball team start off the week at home against Ringling with both squads coming away with convincing wins and are currently competing in the Black Diamond Tournament at Rush Springs. We will have the results from the tournament 
and the Red River Duels on News from the Hill on Facebook Live this Monday. That's the look at your week of blog sports. Now back to you in the Doc Show Studios. Thanks for that sports report. That's all the time we have for the Dog Show. Next week, the DNA Stone Double Company will be back. Emory has been medically cleared to participate in DNA activities. In another edition of Inside the EMP Multiverse, we will see you back here next Thursday. We'll be on a day early next week. Be excellent to each other, Empire. Deuces, Empire.